Irish Twins True Irish Tales Only Told on St. Patrick's Day By A. B. Marcus Abmarcus.com When the Irish twins were born less than one year apart, the family joked that they'd be joined at the hip, but little did they know how true that would become. The twins were a family of six from County Cork, Ireland. Carmela was the oldest, Anna was next then, Lindsay and Jason. Carmela and Anna were Irish twins because they were born within ten months of each other. But they were also called Irish twins because they each shared an equal distrust and dislike of their two younger siblings and were always working together to undermine their hopes and dreams. Their family and grandparents adored all the children of the Quinn family. The grandma Mamie especially adored her granddaughter Lindsay. However, Carmela was so jealous of her little sister Lindsay and Jason that she wished her grandma were dead. Then one night, in a dream Carmela got a premonition that their beloved grandma Mamie would die in a car wreck. No matter how frightening the dream was Carmela refused to tell Grandma Mamie about this fate. The car crashed. Grandma Mamie died. It all happened exactly one week to the day that Carmela had the dream. Carmela was stunned and confused, yet something inside her was full of glee to see Grandma Mamie out of their lives. A few years had passed and one day their dad Leonard stumbled upon a kitten that had fallen down through a street grate and needed rescue. Leonard's long arms just barely reached the kitten and it was saved. He brought it home that day and Lindsay and Jason named the little kitten Stevie. Stevie the rescue kitten grew up quickly and became a source of joy for the family especially Lindsay and Jason. Carmela had observed for a long time the joy that Stevie had brought to her youngest siblings. Anna and Carmela started into planning how they could stop this happy experience, plus Carmela hated the smell of the cat box and didn't want it anymore. Anna and Carmela decided to rehome the cat while Lindsay and Jason were at church one Sunday morning. When they arrived home, Stevie was gone. Have you seen Stevie, Carmela, Anna? They both said at the same time, I don't know anything about it. Heartbroken Lindsay and Jason looked for days and weeks to find their beloved cat. They put up signs, but nothing. A couple of weeks later to make up for the loss of the family cat, their dad Leonard bought Lindsay and Jason new bikes. They really enjoyed them but missed their four-legged friend. A month after that Anna and Carmela were at it again, planning a way to get rid of the new bikes. On a warm summer afternoon, Jason went out to ride his bike and both his bike and Lindsay's bike were gone. Anna and Carmela did it. They tricked their youngest siblings and broke their hearts again. Carmela was the oldest and she felt she never got the love she was due so she planned these events to break her two siblings. So the two stood in their latest scheme, knowing their secrets would bind them as Irish twins for the rest of their lives. Until Anna died one day. Carmela's secrets were suddenly revealed, because Anna kept a diary of what they did to their little sister and brother. All the in-county Cork heard of their misdoings of the mischievous Irish twins and their tale lives on in Irish infamy. The End